This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME in Chicago with your grain market update. And we have seen the grains try to stage a little bit of a rally here in today's session, which is very encouraging. We saw a little bit of follow through over the past couple of days and we're looking at potentially posting higher lows for that corn market, reversing potentially the trend of lower lows and lower highs over the past couple of months. We always say the bottom is a process, not necessarily a point. So perhaps we're starting that process. If we're able to hold 363 and three quarters, 365. I think that'll confirm it. What the Bulls really want to see is a conviction close out above 381. If they can achieve this on a consecutive closing basis, I think that opens the door for a potential run at that gap from the USDA report. It comes in near 392 and three quarters. So we've been fairly neutral on the corn market after that last bearish USDA report, but the technicals are starting to firm up just a hair. And we're keeping an eye on that resistance level 381, going to be a big one going forward. Now, as far as the soybeans are concerned, uh, a little bit less optimistic. We saw a, a nice pop in the overnight and early morning session, but failed to really maintain that momentum. And we've faded back off of that 854 and a half to 860 is the must hold support pocket for the bull camp. A break and close below there. And I tell you what, there's really not a whole lot of technical support until you get down towards contract lows of 815. On the resistance side, if the bulls are able to, to defend that 854 to 860, potentially we work back towards $9. But the lack of a trade deal with China is going to continue to be a headwind for this market. Now, wrapping things up with the wheat market, Chicago wheat firming up quite a bit here, still not necessarily um, sold on a bigger term, longer term rally in Chicago wheat. What we're looking at for the most potential and the most value, in our opinion, is that Kansas City December contract. $3.97 to $4 is the pocket that we're looking at. And as with corn, we're starting to mark higher lows, and that's very encouraging. Potentially, we reverse the, the trend and reverse the money flow as well. And if we can get out above resistance, I think there's room for this market to run another 30 cents. So from the risk reward perspective, I think there's a tremendous value uh, in the corn and Kansas City wheat market. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at, too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.